It's Congress's boldest challenge yet to the president's war authority. The Senate passed a $122 billion emergency spending bill to keep funds for the war flowing, but it comes with major strings attached. President Bush must start pulling out soldiers soon and withdraw most by April 2008. The president says he can't accept those terms and has the, promised uh, a veto. So the troops' money hangs in limbo, each side saying it's the other who's not supporting the boots on the ground. When we've got a troop in harm way, we expect that troop to be fully funded. And we got commanders making tough decisions on the ground, we expect there to be no strings on our commanders. If the president vetoes this bill, it is an asterisk in history. He sets the record for undermining troops more than any president we've ever had. Shortly after the vote, and one day after House Speaker Nancy Pelosi chided Mr. Bush to take a deep breath. There's a new Congress in town. The outstanding question now, which side will blink? They have some time to think it over. While the troops wait, Congress enjoys their spring break. But they're going to take off two weeks for Easter, while our troops have not gotten the assurance they're going to have the funds they need.